All right, everyone. I've got a classic British beer here. This is quite a well-known one. Tanglefoot from Badger Brewery in Dorset. Here we go, brewed in Dorset. The camera will focus. This is one I've I've had it for about eight months in the cupboard, so I'm finally getting around to it. It was sent by the drunk cooks, Rhiannon and Ray. So cheers to you guys, and um, hopefully it's still all right. It's still in date, but um, I think I said on the other video where I I tried one which was in the same. I put them all in one box, and then put them in next to the fridge, and I th I don't know whether the warmth or something made one of the beers go off. So I'm hoping this one's all right. If it's not, I'll probably go and get another one out the fridge that is definitely all right, and there. Uh, you'll know that this is off before I even try it because the title of the video will be different to this beer, so... Spoilers! So anyway, classic and rounded beer, the legendary Tangle Foot. Let's have a go. Um, smells... Mm, I, I might have to change it, I might have to go and get another one. Um, but anyway, we'll look at the bottle anyway for, for a second. It says, Years ago, head brewer John Woodhouse rose from sampling his latest creation when, when, his, mischievous when his mischievous companion tangled him up in the lead and Woodhouse fell upon the perfect name for a beer. So I guess his dog ran round his feet and tangled him up like a Beethoven. Um, a golden ale with hints of melon and pear. It is ideal with steak pie. We've been brewing it in the heart of Dorset since 1777. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to pour it into this Ad Adnams glass. I don't know why. I just like the glass. And if it's if it's out of date, I'll just go and grab another one. Fuck it. it. It's smelling a bit funky, but I don't know if that's just my... It's in my head now that I'm thinking that... Because it was in the box, the box of doom. I shouldn't have put it next to the fridge. It was too warm. And uh, a bit of a, a bit of a lively head on that one. Mm. It's got a bit of a metallic, metallic taste. Smell should be fruit, fruity, scented hop, cereal. It smells like bin bags and old coins, so I, I don't know, I'm disappointed, I shouldn't have left it in that box next to the fridge. So anyway, still cheers to uh, to the drunk cooks, I've not seen many videos from you guys recently, I saw one, I've seen some pictures on Facebook of you, Ray had a massive Bob Marley tattoo on his chest, it looks pretty sweet. Hmm. Hmm. I can't tell. I, I think I. You know, I'm. I'm too paranoid to um give up on this one, because I'm thinking that is it just is it just me thinking that like because I had one that was bad out of the box and I'm I'm I've got it in my head that they're all bad. Actually, it doesn't taste too bad. I think it might be on the turn slightly, just on the turn, but it's not. It doesn't have a funky taste. Um, it's it's just there's a slightly sharp, bitter aftertaste, which I wasn't expecting from it. Um, the flavour notes is light copper, no, sight, light copper and gold amber. The taste should be crisp and sweet with spicy overtones. So. Uh, it's probably all right, actually. I'm probably just imagining the whole thing. There was actually um, when I worked in pubs, there was a um, like I, I went to like the the breweries training course when I worked at Joseph Holt, and um, that's when I had aspirations in my life. And um, they said that they, and I actually seen it in pubs where the beer is completely fine, 
but someone will taste one and go, oh, it tastes a bit off and bring it back. I don't know why. Especially with old men, they tend to have a bad taste, a sense of smell and taste for some reason. Maybe that's why. But, um, but then the word will get round and suddenly everyone's tasting the beer as if it's off even when it's it is completely fine it's just like one person has to say oh it's, it doesn't taste right and then suddenly everyone is is tasting it and bringing their beers back and and it'll even spread to other pubs especially when you live in an area like when I lived in Manchester and it was Joseph Holt pubs the word had spread between all the Joseph Holt pubs and it would go round that there's a bad batch out there even though it wasn't really it was just one person Imagining it basically. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's it's kind of it's all right. It's a bit. I don't know. Yeah, it does taste like it's slightly on the turn, but it's okay. It's um. I don't think there's a lot to say about it. It's just a balanced, nice sort of session type of beer. It's just something you can drink quite a few of and enjoy yourself, have a nice drink. It's like a it's like the the ale equivalent of a lager, I think these these type of drinks. It's just kind of uh, inoffensive and uh unchallenging and it's still a good beer and you know. But um when I do reviews on them I just I can't really think of a whole lot to say about them. <laughs> Spicy overtones, as it says here. Not really getting them. It might be the sort of sour, the sour taste. It's slightly sort of maybe a bit spicy, but. I don't know. It's 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 quite nice, but there's, there's not a great deal to say about it. Um, I do like the beers where they give you a little story as to why they, it's called that, why they give it that particular name and stuff. Uh, oh, I just realised the artwork as well. It's, it, it, it is a dog on a lead, sort of, work, the lead's working its way through the lettering, and it, the le lettering is, the lead leads onto the word legendary. That's alright, isn't it? Oh. So uh, I haven't been up to much in my weekly days. I've been watching loads of British Empire. I know I've talked about this before because I was watching them, but it's 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 a good comedy. I I think it's one of them. Uh, it's corny as fuck. It's really like it has a really you know it's really um, cheesy for a comedy, especially like a British comedy, it's really like over the top at times and just stupid, like really stupid things happen and uh, all the characters really are over the top and um, but I think it's, I don't know, I think it's actually a, quite a weird comedy, like I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, you know, when they talk about old comedies they remember fondly, it's like Red Dwarf and uh, Bottom and I don't know all of the the usual suspects and British Empire sort of remembered as a bit of a slightly crappy comedy, but um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it and <coughs> TiVo linking the series link on TiVo and watching them and binge watching them in of a night time. It's a good show. I like it. Chris Barry on top form. Yeah, and they're bringing back uh, the new series of Red Dwarf is coming out soon. Red Dwarf Eleven, I think. I'm looking forward to that. Um, the uh, the last season, season ten, I didn't like um, Red Dwarf Back to Earth or something. The one where it was like a feature length thing, where they, or maybe it was like a two part, three part, where they went back to Earth and then it was like they were in another dimension where they met, like like Lister met Craig Charles, the actor, and. Uh, it was a bit weird and it wasn't the concept of that, I didn't like, it was just, I don't know, I don't think it was that well executed, but um, Series 10, Red Dwarf X was excellent, I think, I thought that it got it back on top form, so uh, I'm looking forward to Series 11, it should be good, yeah. Another thing I've been watching, which uh, I can recommend, is um, Ash vs. the Evil Dead. 
I wasn't expecting much from that. I thought it might be just like a bit crappy, but it's um, Sam Raimi's directing it, and it's it's just like it doesn't disappoint if you're a fan of the Evil Dead movies. Um, it's got like the the corny sort of um, '80s style sort of um, humor, like his sort of suave. Uh, I don't know, like his his presence in the movie it had a very eighties feel, and it has that sort of feel in the in the uh, TV show. But it's as if you know, it's got very much like like he's in modern times, and his uh, how he comes across to people today, sort of acting all like like Ash basically did in the, in the in the movies, or at least in the the third movies. I think his character developed over the movies from like. I think that when they made the first Evil Dead, it was meant to be like a serious film, but because people saw it more as a comedy, they they kind of played on that more and more as the series went on. And then by the, by the third movie, it was pure like slapstick, and Bruce Campbell, um, Ash was just like this wise cracking, jokey sort of character, and um, yeah, and it's really like violent and silly. I think they do they use CGI a bit too much. I think they should have gone for the whole like prosthetic gore effects um, they do use CGI which is slightly disappointing but other than that I, I thoroughly recommend it uh, Ash vs the Evil Dead um, yeah it didn't disappoint <clears throat> I don't know see my table behind me there you see the box the Amazon box I've got that there purposefully because um, there's so many dirty plates and cups on that table Instead of actually just cleaning up, I just propped up an Amazon box so that it was blocked to the view for the camera. That's basically my version of washing up. Just put a box in front so nobody sees it. That's good. Good plan. That's a good good advice. Yeah, that's about it really. Some bullshit going down, YouTube's going crazy at the moment because a lot of people are getting their videos demonetized for having controversial topics in their videos, even though they're not breaching any guidelines. It's dubbed not advertiser friendly and they're getting the money, you know, they're not allowed to put adverts on their videos anymore and these are people who like depend on YouTube for their for their living basically. And they the things they're covering the things I say in the video aren't really controversial. I've watched some of the videos that have been demonetized. And um I have had that happen to me in the past, um, before all this started, like, you know, it's been going on for years, it's always happened. Um and it's always seemed to be on like random videos and I couldn't work out why. It would just seem to be like a bot would suddenly just decide I'd use some keyword in the description or something that flagged it up. Um and you could always just sort of upload the video again even with the same description and tags and it would that one would be monetized it was like it didn't it was a bit of a broken system so i don't know what's going on with that but everyone seems to be going crazy about it at the moment saying it's like youtube censorship and stuff so oh, it's interesting i think youtube just has a, has a monopoly over everything like there's no other alternative really there's other video sites but they're not as popular as youtube by any means so they they can just treat the users however they want really and they just want to make as much money as they can so they just they don't really care it used to be sort of it used to have a feeling that like youtube was like for the for the people you know actually youtube it's for you and you know you can share your opinions and and uh, i don't know it's not really like that they just want to make money and they don't really care strange This beer does taste a little bit off. Yeah, I think it was on the turn. It wasn't completely bad though. It's still still drinkable, but it's probably good. I drank it now. I've had it in the cupboard for about eight months. Still in date for a couple of months, I think. October, I think it goes off. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think I've got anything else to talk about really. I've not, not been doing a great deal. So I, try, I tried starting in a new channel. Well, working on some new videos, but I don't know. It's not turning out too well at the moment. The videos are alright, but they I don't know. I might leave it a, f a couple more weeks before sort of talking about it because kind of, you know, when you start a new channel and you're trying to find the style and all that to it, I don't know. Uh, anyway. Oh, and I said last video that um, I was playing Worms World, uh, the new Worms game. I had downloaded it and it didn't work on my laptop. Yeah, I had, I'm sure I had all the right specs that it said on the Steam page. But uh, I, I, Worms games are always like the the game that would play on your laptop when like you had a crap laptop or when you had a crap computer when I was a kid. Worms was always the game that you could get that would play on it because it was just a 2D 2D thing. But this was like it seems to have really quite high graphic specifications even though it's just a 2D Worms game. It doesn't look much like it looks nicer, like more detail, but it doesn't look much more taxing than Worms World Party, which I played fucking however ten years or more ago. <coughs> but yeah, it wouldn't play on my laptop. The graphics were all like all jangled up, so I had to. Get, I just got a Steam refund straight away because I need needed the money back. Basically, spent the money on soil and nutrients from Amazon. Uh, alright. Alright. Um, so that's it, I think. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye.